Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario World The After Years. In the last episode, we made our way through the Starlight Powerkin Tower, and I showed off where you can get Yoshi. In this episode, we're gonna take our take on the Haunted Fun Zone. Cecilia, what is it with this place? What do you mean, Mute? Well, I've trailed from a forest to a graveyard and now to an amusement park. It doesn't seem natural to encounter of, and to encounter all of those things within the same area. Well, Mute, this is a part of the Mushroom Kingdom that was originally an amusement park. This is where I used to come and play when I was just a baby, along with baby Mario and Luigi, and even baby Daisy. Seems like a continuity error, but whatever. So this is what it's what's become of it now. It seems so, I'm afraid. It probably won't be too long before the whole th amusement park stops existing. Well, maybe we can still save it, or what's left of it. Thanks, Mute, but it's that's the least of our problems right now. Well, we want to save the Mushroom Kingdom, don't we? This takes some priority in our goal. Mute. Even if I wanted to, who's to say we can? Well, I never... Well, you never know until we try. Besides, I have a feeling we're really close to something. You guys need to understand how loud this is for me, at least in the headphones. I don't know why. Let me check the volume levels. I hate to do this on screen, but it feels so loud to me. Yeah, you guys can probably see that. Oh well. Everything seems fine, I guess it's just me. Alright, let's beat this place properly. Sorry for that little distraction. Gimmick to this place is things are fake. That's pretty much it, otherwise it's nothing special. I did test play through a lot of this, so I should be good to go. Hello there, big ghost from Super Mario World 2. That's what you look like to me. When you pause it, sometimes the music will glitch out, and you won't play all the instruments for some reason. Until it loops. I don't know why that's the case, but it is. And not everything is fake, but most of it is. Right, let's take one of these ice bricks and get stabbed in the foot. Alright, don't go down too fast or you'll die, because that's a bottomless pit. Hence the platform you'll notice by the time you're dying. I did turn the mic volume up a little bit because it felt quiet to me, and I don't care if it's louder than the game at this point. Sometimes I wonder if you guys want me quiet because you'd rather hear the game instead of me. I'm the one trying to make the jokes. Anyways, we're gonna need a brick here because this is a rather poorly designed puzzle if you ask me. But there's very little room for error. You're gonna touch one of those clear bricks and get teleported back to the start of the area you're in. Yeah, that's the gimmick of this area. Let's try that again, because I was a bit slow. I wanted to grab this and immediately get on this platform. Ah, I was a little off. Whatever. Alright, do be careful, because if your head so much as scrapes that brick, you're going to get sent back. And that's pretty much the end of it. All we got here is a checkpoint and a mushroom. And what I consider a really easy boss, though he can't overwhelm you. Mute, you seem to have stopped moving for a while. Is everything alright? Yeah, I seem to have stumbled across something very interesting. Mute stares at what appears to be four diamond-shaped crystals, each one being a different color. They come together from each corner of the ceiling in a simultaneously organized fashion. Can this be what's causing all the mayhem in the park? Mute. Mute, where are you? Well, what Mute, what's going on? Being like Mario is a dream to never come true. But you're the one that told me that it's my choice. Takes the voice of Cecilia. Mute, I can care less what happens to this amusement park. Just get out of there. What? Mute? Takes the voice of Lumen. I never believed you could save the mushroom. You could save the mushroom kingdom. Why could, would Cecilia put her trust in a pest like you? Takes the voice of Mute. 
I'm just a kid from the isolated island far away from the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm a nobody. How is that... How is it that'll shape the future? Mute gets down to his knees and faces... His knees and faces... The... Alright. Knees and faces the ground. Trying to cover his ears with both hands. I didn't see the rest of that for some reason. Please get out of my head. Please. But we're not in your head. We're in your heart. Beyond your actions, you know the truth deep down in your heart. You'll never be the hero. Mushroom Kingdom will fall. In a tone filled with anger, get out. Mute, snap out of it. You're hallucinating. Mute looks up and sees the crystals rotating in circles. He quickly pulls himself off the ground. Alright, I had just about enough of your mind games. It's time I put a stop to this. We got some Star Fox to... Star Fox music going on. And there's the gimmick of this fight. You can only damage a crystal of the same colored shell. So blue shell, blue crystal. Yeah, I made a mistake in throwing that. There we go. They don't ever toss them to the left or right. Otherwise, this is a very easy fight. So basically, blue shell for yellow crystal. Blue shell for blue crystal. Yellow shell for yellow crystal. Red shell for red crystal. This is all they do. Oh, I made that mistake. No, let's not do that. I wasn't paying attention. Otherwise, this is a really easy fight. Hell, sometimes as you see, they'll just run right into the shells like idiots. Yeah, for things that have been causing so much trouble, you're really stupid. Alright, we don't need this, so let's set it down. And bonk it out of existence. As you can see, this isn't hard at all. Though I made it look difficult. Alright, now we got the hardest part, getting the last color. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, I've gotten quite lucky throughout this LP. Man, that was a bit of a drag. Oh well, at least now it's over. I'm pretty sure those crystals were what's causing the darkness in this forest. Mute. Thank you. This place has been my life since I was just a child. I'd hate to see it not exist anymore. And some of this music is really loud. Cecilia, it's no problem at all. I know how much this place meant to you. That's part of the reason why I wanted to save it. Or what's left of it. I'm sure with just a little rebuilding, we'll have this amusement park up and running in no time. Well, look who we have here. Mute turns around to see who's behind him. Standing across from him appeared to be a Chuck, but instead of having a football helmet on, he appeared to ha be wearing an armored helmet that had horns on each side, because edgy. Oh, who are you? You don't look like any of the troops I've seen. Hmm. You mean to tell me you don't know who I am? How insulting. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Nova, the great creator of this land. Mute suddenly started to become furious. Mute, this isn't looking too well. Pay close attention to your choice in words. So you're the one that's been trying to take over the Mushroom Kingdom. Trying? Take a look around you. There isn't much left of this pitiful land. Soon, even the Mushroom Kingdom itself will be destroyed, allowing me to build my kingdom of eternal darkness. I, I'm afraid I can't let that happen. Ha 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 ha. But I'm afraid you have no choice. You're pretty good to get this far, I'll admit. But it's the end of the line now. That update sucked. Nova's hands begin to glow with dark energy. Say hello to the afterlife. Mute. Wait. Hmm? I surrender. You surrender? Mute gets down on his knees and faces the ground. Yes, I surrender to you, Nova. The dark energy surrounding Nova's hands fade away. Do whatever you want with me. So, after coming this far, you decided your journey's over just like that? Why fight if I know I can't win? Hmph, <laughs> you really are a sorry excuse for a hero, you know that? But I suppose I can't let someone like you go to waste just yet. Let me just ask you one question. Why are you doing this? 
Why are you trying to build your kingdom here and not somewhere else? It's simple. I hate the Mushroom Kingdom and everybody who exists there. Long ago, when Mario and Peach were still alive, I was shunned from the King Mushroom Kingdom due to my constant disrespectful actions. Well, no shit. It was alright. I never liked Mario or the princess anyways. Seeing that I was just an outsider, the sorry excuse for an, an antagonist, Bowser, dragged me along to serve his useless army. Around the time, I began to look up to Bowser's evil ways and decided I wanted to be like him one day. One day, when we were attacking the Mushroom Kingdom, I happened to get the upper hand on Mario and Princess Peach. As I was about to possibly kill them both, Bowser suddenly stepped in, purposely interrupting my plans. It appeared he was furious with me, trying to kill the princess. Wait, he was mad that you tried to kill the princess? I don't know what the big idiot wants. Anyways, he decided my services would no longer be needed, so... He and his troops dumped me into the sea, leaving me there to die. Leaving me there to die. If it wasn't for me being discovered by somebody, I wouldn't have been standing here now. Since that day, I swore I'd get reve my revenge on this whole kingdom. Mario and Peach had already lived their lives in peace, but Bowser, however, was still alive. Vengeance ran through my blood the day I came face to face with him. Wait, so it was you that killed Bowser? Now you're learning. It was all too easy and a bit hard to believe Bowser's troops would serve a weakling as himself. Since that day, they all bowed down to me. As for everybody else in this land, let's just say we didn't see eye to eye very well. Nova picks Mute up from the ground by the back of his shirt. But that's enough out of me. It's time you served your time in my army. Mute, why aren't you fighting back? Cecilia, please believe in me. Yeah, that was loud. Anyways, we move on to the fifth area, probably the hardest area in the game. Prison Breakout. Chapter 5, The Rescue Mission. After saving Mushroom Kingdom's amusement park, Mute happened to encounter the Mushroom Kingdom's antagonist, Nova. Afraid he might not be able to defeat Nova, Mute surrendered himself, hoping for an extended time in survival. Nova somehow reminded Mute of himself, but with very different goals in life. Mute wanted to be like Mario, who was considered a hero to the Mushroom Kingdom, while Nova wanted to be like Bowser. To him, Nova just seemed like a soul filled with vengeance and hatred, but wanted to be accepted deep down inside. Mute was currently on the deserted part of the island that was being used as a prison. Everybody who posed a threat to Nova ended up here until Nova planned to use them. Well, here I am in some dark place. It's a surprise that I'm still I'm even still alive to be honest. I thought I would would have failed by now. Well, I basically did fail, as I'm far away from the Mushroom Kingdom with nobody to know where I am. Mute takes a moment to think. But I, but I still am alive, which means I have some fight left in me. I can't just give up. I have to do something about this. Mute stands up from the bench that he was that was in his jail cell. But what? Mute begins walking around his jail cell, thinking of a plan. I got it. I'm going to rescue Lumen. She risked her life to save me, so I should return the favor, shouldn't I? Plus, we're a team. No teammates left behind. But first, I'll have to start by breaking out of here, which is rather easy to do. As we get some Secret of Mana music, immediately start by heading left. So I assume this entire area is his jail cell it was meant to be broken out of, because... Up there is where we're going to need our key to escape, but we need to get it first. And it's guarded quite well. Well, it's guarded well, not quite well. Always immediately head over here and let's get this yellow shell, because we're going to need it. This place introduces a gimmick you're probably going to hate. You'll see that shortly enough, though. And yeah, not much in terms of levels, just a bunch of cutscenes. I have to say, though, the Area 5 castle of this place, well, quote-unquote castle, has the hardest boss in the game. Yes, that's right, tougher than the final boss. 
Anyways, that key was, was in that question mark block we just passed by. But we can't quite get it, can we? Because it's blocked off. Oh, and for the love of God, don't head down that pipe. It's a waste of time and leads to a dragon coin. Yeah, we're still a bit hurt from that last fight. Because I was being stupid. Anyways, you see we got a yellow shell, and you notice the bricks are yellow. Well, yellow shell breaks yellow bricks. And we're going to come across that gimmick more and more as we play the game. Fun, huh? Uh, you're not going to like it too much. Or maybe I'll love it. It doesn't seem like a huge deal. So if you see a type of colored brick and you can't break it, you're probably going to need a shell of some color. Anyways, take the key up here into the pipe. So we can return to the first area. With key in hand, we can exit the prison. Huzzah. Yay, we escaped. Tonight's going to be a jailbreak. Anyways, that'll take us straight to the halfway point. The rest of this place isn't too hard. The worst thing about it are these chucks, but if you move through this place really quick and fall down a hole, you can die too. Anyways, I'd cut that out, but we're really close. So I can show off what one of these checkpoint areas looks like. Some have power-ups, some don't. Let's try that again with some gusto this time. Oh, that was close. We need a wall jump here, which I failed to do. Just move through this place quickly. But be cautious, too, because remember, this game punishes impatience hard. You want to be really fast here, or this chuck will start chucking boulders at you. Thankfully, we only took minimal damage, so that's nice. We should be close to the end. Yeah, this is the end right here. Oh, nice. But we'll have to explore the rest of Chapter 5 next time on Let's Play Super Mario World The After Years.